This is a bit of a follow-up to an original video that I did for PPS alternate mag choices. And I'm going to focus on stick mags today. Um, here I want to show you the original Ares stick mag. Big, bulky, high cap, really heavy. Um, and I did show you the ones where I took a real steel PPSH mag. And if you can see... This has the lips on the front. It is a real steel mag. And the whole operation is uh, Vietnam Airsoft has a, a good link on there and I am going to put that in the description on how to do this. Um, this is where I learned how to do it and this is how I did it. You're, you're uh, basically cutting Taking the mag apart, there's a button on the bottom here, this comes out, the pins, you pop them out, you, all this comes out, basically all this comes out except these two lips here, you have to cut this off flush. It is a lot of work uh, to get this done. I have three mags, and I have two here, but I have three mags that are done already. I did a fourth, uh, one right here, uh, putting in the mag and getting it all set up and I also did a fifth one as as a test I took a real steel mag took the top off it and I just JB welded it on an mp5 mag now this is this is 110 rounds only uh, and the mechanism I put in here is 110 rounds and I'll see, show you the mag that I use it's a Saima uh, mid cap metal mag take the guts out inside but the plastic mags, these mag brand mags that I had, is what I put the end cap, just the uh, top piece on. And let me zoom in on that so you can see exactly what I did on that. Focus. Too close. All right, as you can see here, it's a regular MP5 mag, but you have the top, which is from a real steel PPSH mag. It's got the lips. Here on this side, you got the mechanism sticking out, and it's just JB welded in place and then ground down so that it uh, fits a little bit better uh, into the gun. Of course, you had to do the work on the mag catch. The real steel old mags don't quite fit in there. You have to grind this uh, at a better angle so it clicks into the gun. But this is a 110 round mag, and compared to the ones that I made, let me pull back. Compared to the ones I made, they're a lot lighter. So what I did is I talked to a friend of mine that has um, does 3D printing and he is making an adapter which I already tested the prototype and I wish I had it here so I could show you of just printing this top part. Okay and the whole idea behind it is he printed it with the correct cut in here for the mag catch and the lips and the whole nine yards and he's test fitting it on my Ares PPSH. I, I lent him the gun to be able to test it along with one of my uh, regular mags so you can check function. And the idea being is it's going to be an adapter that you slip on an MP5 mag and just glue it in place. Well that was our original design. On the plastic mags, the mag brand mags, you can glue JB weld them however you want to do it. If you notice there's a lot of JB weld I had to put inside on this back side and a little bit I had to put on the front side. Not too much because it is tight against this right here. This side. But this side was kind of loose so I had to fill it in with JB weld. And it makes the mag solid, doesn't move and anything like that. What he's doing is he's printing the uh, adapter. I'm going I'm to call it an adapter so you just slide these in put a spot of uh, uh, JB Weld on it or maybe even just some super glue um, to make sure that it's solid. His final product that he's thinking about trying to do is making this fit the MP5 mag click in with a like a mag uh, like a, a mag catch on it so that it'll click in and I gave him one of these bigger ones so that he can see that this is re this can be really wide so what he can do is he can make the mag catch on this just like on this side for the mp5 mag that it would have a little clip here 
that when you push it in, and I'm going to zoom in here so that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It's hard to see here. I'll try to get it in the video, but you can see the spot here. And I'll use the screwdriver to point it out. This is a slot in here, which is basically your mag catch. And his whole idea is that using this particular mag here, he would make a mag catch on this side of it, spring release, however he wants to do it, so that you could just get by this particular top with the mag catch in it and put this in the gun and then clip regular MP5 mags in the PPSH. This really gives you an option because these mags would be really light. MP5 mags, I have tons of them, and they're easier to make than these put together ones. These are solid, they, they work good, but you have to get the positioning right on the feed lip or they won't feed in the gun. Now these, the three that I have, plus this one, um, and I do have another one here somewhere, which I don't, I don't know where it is, but I do have a fourth one. Uh, so I'm going to have six or five mags plus the MP5 mag, which is will be six. So I will have six mags. And the whole idea behind it is, I'd like to be able to use these plastic polymer mag brand mags that I have, or even the metal Simo ones that I have here with this adapter. So it just clips in and it, and it works. He's working on this right now, and as soon as I get um, some information from him, I will do a follow-up video and show the mag adapter in practice and in shooting. So this is just a little teaser video to let you know about what we're doing uh, 3D printing wise. I hope you have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.